Let's take a look at your Huntington Bank highlights of the game, brought to you by Huntington Bank. And uh, Bruce, early on, Toledo had control of this hockey game. Yeah, they really did. They were moving the puck. They came out with great energy. There you see Park's goal. And Joey Martin really put a lot of jump back in the team. There was the unfortunate kind of second rebound goal, but Aaron Lewicki gave Toledo a two-goal lead at the end of the first period. You, you felt very comfortable because Toledo dominated in that first period. Second period, there's the one that Pellet gets his first goal of the season, and then Vibe with his first goal of the season. It was just one of those nights it wasn't meant to be for Toledo. It seemed like a lot of things happened. There you see Kruger in his fight. And Joey Martin, no one heard a whistle here. No one stopped play. Toledo goes ahead. Everyone's getting ready to celebrate. And there you see head coach Nick Petusi, and I think you know how he feels. Why? I think he's saying why right there. And watch this. This is a good, clean hit by Nick Oslin. That's exactly what you want your defenseman to do there, step up and make that hit. Led to a uh, power play for Cincinnati, in which they would score to take the lead and the ultimate final of 4-3 to three here tonight at the Huntington Center. The Toledo Walleye will be back on the home ice on December 11, just two days from now, 4 o'clock start time, as they host the Kalamazoo Wing. We'll see you then, and make sure you get your tickets at ToledoWalleye.com. For Bruce Johnson and our entire crew, my name is Matt Melzack. Again, your final score, the Cincinnati Cyclones 4 and the Toledo Walleye 3. Good night, everyone.